everybody and welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So you may have guessed from the uh, thumbnail and from the intro to the video, I have a new truck. Um, Xena, she's been poorly for a long time and uh, I've not been able to rely on her. That's uh, my old warrior, by the way, hence the Xena. <laughs> um, I love the truck. I've had it seven, eight years, maybe even longer than that now. Done a lot of work to it and um, yeah, it was time. Um, you know, when your work is, is dependent on your vehicle, you've, uh, you've got to kind of think about that. But before we go into the Ranger, just wanted to uh, reminisce about Xena for a minute. When I first got Xena, she was um, not the same as she is now. Um, she was pretty stock and standard and um, yeah, I got her. I, I took her straight up to the Peak District and uh, did some camping and some photography up there. This is way before the channel and um, she did well so I got back and um, yeah I did the lift and the uh, wheels and the um, the tyres first went straight with the big muds <laughs> had a little experience sort of off-roading and just I just knew I needed them for what I wanted her to do yeah put the snorkel on and um, every panel I rubbed down and kind of a rattle can sprayed it um, there was a lot of other work I wanted to do to her but um, you know the way it works out, um, didn't have money or, or whatever, and she kind of stuck like that for, for some time. But, um, you know, she, she got me through some things. Um, she was good in the snow, um, got me into fields and woodlands I wouldn't have been able to get into otherwise. So there's videos that wouldn't have happened if I didn't have that truck. <laughs> Not to mention other things, like uh, coming down here all the time. There's a couple of times she got stuck in some really bad mud and uh, when you're uh, filming in the snow and you're going up and down, up and down, you know, setting up the camera, going past the camera, reversing back up. <laughs> but uh, she always got out of the uh, of the uh, sticky stuff. I currently do still have Xena uh, at home. I'm going to send her off to the garage and have uh, some essential work done to her because I've spent a lot of money on um, that truck uh, over the last year. Um, the big problem was the the head going um, and that was on the way back uh, with Tom outdoors from Rye when we uh, filmed there so I broke a lens <laughs> that day hear me or even see me but I've got the head oh. uh, filming in the wind when the camera went over and then the truck blew up on the way home but she still got us back to stop every kind of 15 minutes and kind of take off the cap and fill it up with coolant and it explode everywhere but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got back in the end. She always got, got me home. Some of that work that needs to be done is the exhaust. You may have even noticed in the video is literally hanging on by wire at the moment. Um, come off its hangers, um, kind of off-roading. I didn't realise till I got home. So all the travel home, it was hanging off, dangling, and it was tearing the back box, and they were both just dangling. So um, that's something that needs to be done. A bit of an oil leak, um, kind of track rod ends and, and things like that. Um, the reversing sensors, all bits and bobs, just to get her in a sellable state. So yeah, she's going to go off to the garage, have a few essential bits done, and um, yeah, I'm going to probably sell the truck to someone who wants maybe something just for off-roading, not something for everyday use. Um, but, well, that's up to them. <laughs> so, what about the Ranger? <laughs> Well, I had to travel some way to get the Ranger. Um, they're thin on the ground uh, cars at the moment after the whole lockdown situation. Um, some weird stuff going on there, but yeah. So the prices were being driven up, but I got this for a really good price, actually. Um, it's not perfect, but um, I mean, for me, this truck is, is luxury, basically. <laughs> Absolute luxury. Yeah, so uh, Xena was quite bare bones, and in comparison, this has all the bells and whistles and computers and sat-navs and reversing cameras it's bizarre <laughs> but the best thing at the moment is the fuel economy just getting here would be between third and half of a tank in um, Xena but in this one it's it's less than a quarter so the fuel efficiency <laughs> is brilliant I am um, I'm kind of hesitant to um, modify her because uh, yeah I am liking that fuel efficiency but uh, there's a few jobs I want to do there will be a lift it won't be as extreme as on um, the last one um, some wheels. At the moment the tyres on the front are just road tyres, on the back it's got all terrains. So uh, 
we'll see what we can do. If I can get smaller wheels, I will, and bigger tyres. Um, lift's probably going to be just a 40mm lift or something, nothing spectacular. Um, probably a snorkel, um, might do the paint, I don't know, because I've already doing all the intro to this, it's, it's scratched all to hell. <laughs> um, this back's going to come off here, get rid of that, um, doesn't work for, for what I'm using it for. I'm going to put a truck bed rack on there and a, um, a roof tent, so really looking forward to that, that's on its way already. So it's probably going to be the first modification really. But yes, now I've got this uh, new truck and a lot more reliability. I'm going to be able to get about a lot better. Um, so hopefully be able to do some adventures uh, further afield again. Get down to Dartmoor, get up north, maybe get into Europe, you know, depending on the situation at the moment. So really looking forward to having some reliability and being able to get about. And that's it. I hope me and the new truck are going to be able to provide you with some interesting videos to watch in the future. That's certainly the intention. So thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.